Ho, Akatsuki the Dragon here! Rawr! Welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings! Uh, yay! I love this game and I want to play more! Uh, I like the main theme from the title menu, but uh, the more I listen to it, the more I feel that this, is, this game will have a sad ending. Because this music is very calm, very nice, but it's something like... I feel that I have, will have a bad ending, or I don't know. I just hope that there are as much, uh, as many good endings as bad endings. <laughs> All right, so we are going to talk to Reza. So let's go. Uh, I was already wondering whenever you will get it at all. Uh, what did you expect? Well, you didn't make it easy. <laughs> well, for fuck's sake, the thinking about lemons. What a wonderful night it is! Oh, no comment about that, okay. Oh, it looks nice, yeah. Just look up the stars, you can see them so clearly here, without all the pollution lingering in the air like back home. Almost if we were looking right into the face of eternity itself. Wow, you are such a romantist. For so long, humanity thought we would find aliens out there, yet after all these years, we found we were still alone in the universe. Turns out we were just not looking in the right place. Oh, I really wish it was true. I mean, like this dragon world exists. Ah, it's good to have dreams. Oh, it's, it's great that we have games like this, so we can think about it. What's going on, Reza? Why did you call me here at this time? For one, because we're sending the generator home. Wait, what? But I thought the dragons needed. Right before I was sent here, they told me they would limit the use of the portal as they couldn't afford to keep it open at all time. Okay, you don't have enough energy to keep it up. In order to keep in contact with us and to enable us to send things over to them, the portal would be open for just a quarter of an hour each day. Quarter of an hour? Only? 15 minutes? Wow, that's not long. Sending something back home wasn't really problematic for us, since the high energy expenditure associated with sending bigger objects only affected the sender. <clears throat> Not the receiver. So, however, this also meant that until all business was concluded in regards to our trade with the PDA and the generators, we we're basically stuck here. I want to be stuck here. I want to live here. Why do you want to leave? <laughs> uh, affected the sender. So, if we are sending something, we are affected. But if they send something to us, it's okay. As for the other, do you know what this place is? You said something about trouble. How much danger are we in, really? More than enough. I'm afraid this whole place will be gone soon. And we better not be here when it happens. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Is the dragon world gonna dis disappear? Stop screwing around with me. What are you talking about? Yeah, just split already. I hoped you would see it too, but then it took me a while to, underst while and not to understand, and I had a, I had a head start on you, and in any case... No way, are you gonna destroy this world? I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> no, just kidding, but... While he was speaking, my gaze wandered and fixed on some movement nearby. It was hard to make out er anything, but I imagined it might just have been wind blowing through the nearby shrubbery. Except for the fact that there was no wind. Reza? This might take a while to explain what we've got the whole night. Reza, look! He turned around to face whatever I was seeing. He squinted hard before he called out. You! How dare you follow me even here! Oh. Is that the dragon? Uh, I think he... I think we don't need dragons right now. Because this is a private conversation about something bad. That humans will do to the dragons. Ah, these bad humans! Human kin is always bad. Dragons good, human kin bad. The disturbance came closer until it became clear that it was Maverick who had hidden nearby to listen in on our conversation. Yeah, this one. 
I knew you were up to no good. What were you talking about? What are you planning here? Some kind of attack? Wait a minute, there's no reason for... Don't try to deny it. I heard you both talking about it in the cafe and I saw the letter. Oh, you saw the letter even? Wow. You think I couldn't smell the lemon on it? Pathetic. You will have to come with me to the police station now, both of you. Oh shit, this is serious. But we, s we haven't... We still haven't told you anything. Come on, I think you're overreact. What? What? What the fuck are you doing? No! I mean, this dragon isn't cute and I don't really like him, but you shouldn't... What? Wait, can I roll back? We, can, we will be confined... Oh, shit! Reza, what are you doing? Come on, Akatsuki, let's get out of here. No! It is my first day here. Or I don't know, maybe I'm even a week here. But I just arrived. I feel like I don't want to go back. Fuck you, I'm with dragons. In the dragon's side, I could see the wound where the bullet had penetrated his hide. A trickle of blood staining his dark scales and the earth beneath. Reza used the opportunity to run off in some direction. I wasn't sure which. I think we should stay with Dragon and go to the police station and... But we are not part of it. We don't know shit what they were planning. We were just sent he here as an ambassador. And we don't know what was the true pur purpose of this all things that happened. I frantically scanned my surroundings looking for Reza, though he had already vanished into the darkness. What was I supposed to do? Run away as well? No. Help Maverick? Yes. I was just a diplomat and I had no idea what was happening. Suddenly the dragon whipped around, hitting me in the guts with his thick tail. Huh. At least it was. I, I appreciate the... with his thick tail. Oh yes, I have tail fetish. I love that. Uh, I mean, it hurts <laughs> even, but... I was lifted off the ground briefly before I felt the impact of my body hitting the ground hard enough to, that my vision blurred almost immediately. But I haven't done anything wrong! I just came here to talk to him! Don't judge Bug by its cover. That I am... Because of, uh, I am human doesn't mean I am bad. A deafening roar bothered my ears. Was, that, was this his cry for help? I could barely move, but I found it better not to try, as to not startle the wounded, wounded dragon more than he already was. It certainly would have ended badly for me if he tried anything. I heard him take a few unsure steps before he lay down on the ground, panting. I'm still watching you, you know, and you better not move for your own good. If I have to get up again and come after you in this condition, I can promise you I won't be nice. Okay, Mr. Dragon, calm down. It took a few minutes of listening to his elaborate breathing before someone arrived. It was two dragons. The first I recognized as Sebastian and the other one I didn't know. I heard Sebastian and Maverick exchange a few words when they stock, stocky fellow approached me. Stocky fellow? Oh, this is Bruce! Oh, hey there! Oh, you're so cute! That's so sexy and rare, yeah. Hey kid, you are right. Oh, thank God! He's my savior! Bryce, Bryce! Was it Bryce? Bryce is here. Uh, I think I'm alright, I will say. I'm, I'm Bryce, the chief of police in, in this... I should give him good voice acting. Um, what was a cool character in visual novels? Hoya? No. Alright, anyway, I'm Bryce, the chief of police in this town. Can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. Reza shot Maverick and ran off. Maverick f followed us here and tried to appre apprehend us. No, don't lie. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Is that so? You don't believe me? Really? Look at him. He has a bullet wound. His face was stern and seemingly lost in thoughts as, uh, as I overheard Sebastian's conversation. Yeah, but you're the flyer on duty. We probably won't find him now, not here in the darkness at any rate. 
Well, that's just brilliant. What do you think, Chief? Akatsuki, can you walk? Yeah, I think so. Alright, Sebastian, take Akatsuki to the apartment, get some help here for Maverick, and then we'll look for Reza. Right on! Come on, Akatsuki, I'll help you up. Aww. They will help me, yay! But, good fucking lord, what has happened even? I wasn't expecting that, it is good that this game, like, surprises me. But I was expecting, like, Reza will tell me, uh, this world is so cool, you need to find some dragons that you love and you can make it dragon babies or something like that. And it turned out that, like, fuck it, I wanna kill dragons or something. God damn it. I was still shaken up by the events I just witnessed when I arrived at my apartment, not knowing anything better to do. I still soon fa fell into a deep slumber. <sighs> Can I talk to Rodem again? He was so cute. The next day I awoke with many questions lingering in my head. I considered calling someone from the police department to ask about Reza and Maverick. Uh, but in the end I decided against it so as I was sure they would contact me if they had anything to tell me. Where is Sebastian? He's still somewhere around here, right? I knew it was no use worrying about it for now so I settled for start starting another book. <laughs> Is it Rodem? It didn't take very long though before the doorbell, doorbell rang. Oh, it's Bryce. Oh, hey. Did Bryce, the chief of police, take it upon himself to escort me today? Oh, uh, no. Oh, it's you again. Are you surprised? No, but I guess uh, it will mean bad news. Uh, no, I don't think so. Fred, so, how are you holding up? Uh, I like this music, it's so nice, it's like, ah! <laughs> it reminds me of old games of, of my childhood, and it's so cheery, it's so nice, ah, I love it, I love it, I need to download it. Better than yesterday, that's for sure. Let's go for a walk then, shall we? Sure! This time I was taken along. A different route than yesterday, and I was quite sure there was more to this than just taking a walk. I'll just go ahead and guess you didn't find Reza. Yeah, we hope we would have come back on his own by now. Do you have any idea where he might be? Maybe he mentioned some sort of place in particular that holds some meaning to him. No, not really. We didn't get a chance to talk much at all yesterday before. That's that too. I have no idea why Reza would have done anything like that. I had the impression that they weren't very fond of each other, but this? How is he, by the way? Oh, Maverick is doing fine. But there is plenty of blame to go around. You're right, they don't particularly like each other. But we will like each other. <laughs> you are dateable, Bryce. In his statement, Maverick says he suspected Reza of planning some sort of attack. Do you know anything about that? No, he only told me something was going to happen, not that he was planning anything. At least that was the impression I got. He's suspecting you too, by the way, that you both planned this out from the beginning. <gasps> Don't believe him! I'm a good human! Only one. No, that wouldn't make sense. Actually, none of this is making any sense. Why would we go through all the lengths of our agreement only to ge geoparadise it by doing something like this? You even already have our PDA and we don't have much to show for it yet. If we have had any nefarious plans, this wouldn't have been a very good idea. Yeah, that's true. You have a good point, I believe you. But from our side we only have Maverick's words on the whole mother. After all, he was the one who spent the most time with Reza since he arrived here. But even then, he didn't really have any reason to follow you yesterday and his behavior was completely out of line. I'm just glad you came out fine. Aww, you were worried about me, Mr. Dragon Bruce Price. Aww, he likes me already, yay! Uh -huh. If he wasn't on mandatory sick leave, he would be suspe suspended right now. Oh, really? Because he was following Reza? 
But I don't think it's a good bad thing. We'll have to we'll have to wait until this whole thing is over before we decide what to do with him. I can assure you this won't be taken lightly. Oh wow, so many. Uh, maybe they both acted in heat of moment. Ah, not sure. Where I came from, this kind of attack on a diplomat could be classified as an act of war punishable by death. I hope so. Uh, I don't like Reza. Pa death punishment to Reza. Is that so? <laughs> you're talking, you're asking me the same. <laughs> You'd like to say, is that so? We still got quite a lot on our hands today. And on our hands, though. We have a wound, wounded dragon and a missing human. This could lead to a diplomatic crisis. Uh, well, sure, but we don't have to tell the... Or maybe we should tell the human world, the, the scientists. Maybe Reza will still show up soon and we get, can get out of this behind us. I hope so too. I really wouldn't want to jog endanger everything over this unfortunate incident yeah how about we both just keep quiet about this whole thing for now yeah i was thinking about that after all i don't think any of us wants our people panicking about this already right i merely nodded in agreement yes i agree <sighs> i met my husband though i'm so happy Eventually, we arrived at, the, arrived at the police station where the chief took my formal statement in regards to yesterday's event. He asked me about Reza and Maverick too. Not that I knew much of anything that pre pre preceded yesterday's event or the mysterious catastrophe Reza had mentioned. Afterwards, he thanked me and left, left to file my statement while I sat by his table, waiting and listening to the going-ons of this small provincial town police department can i see more dragons when he returned he was approached by someone who seemed to have urgent news a lot of talking between the two ensure, ensued ensued that i couldn't make uh, out from my position this went on for a bit little bryce returned to me afraid <sighs> afraid 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 i have more bad news for you reza has now officially become a murderer suspect. <gasps> what? That dragon died? No way. M murder? We are heading to the crime scene and I hope you could come with us. Wait. No, he said Maverick is fine, so he killed someone else? Really? Uh, me? A crime scene? I don't really know how much know much about forensics but I guess I can help him because I know Reza so I can maybe help him get some clues but it is very weird to take like I am not even the police officer I'm just an, ambas an ambassador it's just that there it's, it's just that you're the only link to Reza we have Consider what he said would happen to us. It's in all of our interest that we find him as soon as possible. And if he has anything to do with it, you might be able to help us find him. Your cooperation would certainly be appreciated. Oh, of course I will help you. No sweat. I will do it right away. And it would be a nice gesture to show us that you're trustworthy in the eyes of those who might think otherwise after what happened yesterday. Will you help us? I respectfully decline. No, I will help you for sure. I suppose I don't really have much choice now, but you're right. We'll get... We've, we've got to find Reza and if that's what it takes, then I'll do it. <sighs> I don't like this Reza even. Very well, let us go then. Ah, uh, Rice. Ah. Uh. Too bad we met in those circumstances, like a very heavy atmosphere, like we can have a like light talk between ourselves. On our way to the crime scene, he tried to prepare me from for what co would come. I had studied biology, so I was familiar with the sight of dead animals. Uh, I don't want to see a dead dragon. This is so cruel. Ah! 
How can I? I mean, I am strong, dragon, but... Uh, at least don't make it cute. I mean, if this dragon is cute and it's dead, then it's over. I'm quitting this game. <laughs> Asking myself how similar this would be. I wondered if my reaction would be any different if it wasn't a dragon. But the human corpse I would be seeing. It's even worse to see a dragon corpse. When we arrived, we were met by Sebastian, who gave us an overview of the whole situation. This morning, the victim was found by the Devilry Flyer for a restaurant. Blood loss from multiple wounds and are the likely cause of death. Forest Sings was already here, so feel free to poke around. Foreign Sings. Foreign Six. So the guys that take all the evidence, like blood samples and stuff. A few paces in front of us, uh, the unfortunate victim lay on the ground, covered by the sheet that cover concealed his, the body, but not the large red stain bene beneath. We approached while Sebastian went off to deter any curious onlookers. Oh, I feel so bad. I know it won't be pretty, and I'm sorry for putting you through this, but you know what's at stake here. Just remember what I told you and you should be fine. All right. Are you ready? Just do it, I guess so. No, I will be confident. Oh no! <laughs> Poor dragon! Oh shit! I am so sorry! Oh, they don't... They don't show me the whole body, but... <sighs> But it has even blood in his mouth. I guess he was he was trying to bit him. Oh no, this is so oh this is so sad. Ah poor dragon. Mm. What do you think? Well, he's definitely dead. Yep, rip. Rest in peace. Let's just say this will be your test and tell me what you can dedu deduce from what you see. Give it your best shot. Oh, investigation start. Uh, two wings, two legs, just like the waitress in the cafe. About as big as human. Length-wise, if not slightly taller. The wingspan would certainly look impressive at that size. Four marks here. Three marks are on the belly. And one on the throat. The ones are kinda hard to miss. True, but what are they telling you? Okay, I guess I should g give it my best shot in order to impress, to leave impression for Bryce. Impress him. Uh, they were inflicted with a sharp implement. Well, that's certainly true. The perpetrator was an unusually large or small person. Uh, that doesn't do shit about, I mean... It was suicide! No way! Uh, he was already dead when he got these wounds. No, because there is a blood coming out from his throat. So the, the main reason why he died was the sharpness. Sharp, but it is obvious. This is obvious information. They are clean cuts, like from a knife or another sharp instrument. That is true, but why does this matter? It actually doesn't. Dragons don't use knives. Uh, well, exactly what? They use knives, I think. It could, couldn't could have been Reza. We don't know that. It could have only been someone with hands. It tells us that it was suicide. No! What the fuck with this suicide? It could only have been someone with hands. Well... I don't know. Do dragons have hands? It actually doesn't, maybe. Oh wait, ah no, go back, go back. 
someone with hands, maybe. Okay. That's right. Only those of us who walk on two legs have the proper dexterity to wield a knife effecti effectively. Oh, oh, okay. I understand. Because there are two types of dragons. One are, all, are on all fours and two and others are on two legs. So, most, most other dragons would probably just bite instead. Oh, just the one he was biting. Of course, this rules out most of the bigger dragons and flyers. But then, Reza still has his... What was it called again? You mean his gun? Yeah, if it was him, why would he kill someone with a knife rather than just use his gun on him? Well, there are many possibilities. He ran out of bullets. He was trying to save bullets for later. Or it was... I don't know, something other. He lost his gun. Yeah, maybe this. It makes him look cooler. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, not sure. Maybe he's that kind of a jerk. He did not want to make any noise. That's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. He wouldn't because it wasn't him. He wouldn't because this, this was clearly a suicide. It wasn't a suicide. How can you still say that? God damn it. Like suicide and you cut your... First you cut your wings, then here, then here, and then like... Suicide would be like one freaking cut. Stop saying about suicide. <sighs> he did not want any noise. Or he lost his gun. These two makes total sense. It makes him look cooler. Uh, yeah, maybe, but... I guess this. He did not want to make any noise. After all, he ran away from Maverick trying to hide from the police. Something as loud as the gunshot would have easily given away his position and alerted others in the area. Right, that could be a good reason. By the way, what, wo what wound do you think was the lethal one? Of course, the one on the neck. Or the chest one. No, the neck one. The one on the neck. That's right. If all the blood from it wasn't a giveaway, this is a stab wound, characterized by a rather small footprint. You can tell it's also the deepest one. And from the location, it's pretty obvious this must have been done tremendous damage. What else do you see? Hmm. Well, there's a lot of blood. The blood splatter suggests that... He committed suicide. Fucking sake, stop! He was dragged here after he died. Mm, not, not really. This isn't blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is ketchup. He died here. He had AIDS. He was ho hemophiliac. What the fuck is hemophiliac? He died here, obviously. He died here, else there would have been a trail we could follow. The spotters also suggest this is where they fought. That's true. Yes, I am very smart. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with determining who the per perpetrator is. Objection! Excuse me. Sorry, I just always wanted to say that. <laughs> okay, you have a nice sense of humor. Like, in front of a dead dragon. Go on, please. Uh, wait, what about the blood on his muzzle? Yeah, he bit him. You tell me. He's a vampire. <laughs> he fought bad, obviously. He had a bloody stack earlier. <laughs> I wanna say that. <coughs> he has gum disease. Game, are you kidding me? He bit his tongue during the fight. Um, no. Uh, he had a battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted I wanted to see the reaction. Sorry, <laughs> the blood stick. It might be a perpetrator's blood. Yeah, that is true. I, ex I expect forest things already took a sample of it, so it might actually help us determine who the perpetrator is. Oh, he can. They can tell us if this is a human's or dragon's blood. Yeah, and it will. It will come 
come out if it is Reza or not. Hmm, I think that's about everything. Investigation over and yay, alright. Oh, you're so happy! You know what, kid? I'm impressed. Maybe we should have you around here more often. Oh, thank you! Oh, I got well investigation! First one, yay! System, thank you, system. Hey, chief, do you still need the, the witness here for anything? And with that, I will end the episode here. So, yeah. Okay, so we meet Bryce. He's very nice dragon. I like him. Uh, and I want to go with his route. I don't know if there are... I think there will be obviously a bad ending and good ending and normal ending with him, I guess. And I'll aim for the best ending ever. I know that I should have a lot of uh, achievements. However, I will not spoil anything for this game. I mean, I will not read any um, tutorials how to get a perfect ending. I will just go... Oh, this music is so good! Right? I'll just go with the flow and choose whatever I want and we'll see. Maybe I'll get the normal ending or good ending even at the end. Alright, thank you very much guys for watching! Yay! So, it wasn't a very... Um, it was very, uh, how to say... Emotional episode. Reza freaking shot the dragon, then uh, probably killed one. And we met Bryce, so it is something good also. Alright, thank you very much. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, as always, be yourself, be awesome, and see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye bye! Yay!